Scott, thank you for joining us. That's obviously a very tough result to take up here in Barrow. I feel that we probably feel aggrieved in for many a reason, some that was you know quite obvious to see, but can I get your reflection on the game first? Yeah, um, I felt that we we um, probably didn't deserve to lose, but we probably didn't do enough to win. Um, you know, listen, they're a brilliant team um, and especially a, a hard team to play against when you go 1-0 down against them. They, they really cut off the spaces very, very well. Um, so, yeah, really disappointed. And, um, yeah, we just didn't do enough for me to, to go and win the game. We often puffed a little bit and we kind of ran out of ideas, but they, they were defensively very, very strong and they nullified spaces brilliantly. Um, but I didn't think that we were quick enough in the action at the top end of the pitch. You know, there's moments where we got in, but we're too slow to finish it or we're too slow to make a decision. Um, you know, and we, 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 we got a kind of play with more guile at the top of the pitch and um, you know I, I don't I don't believe we deserve to lose the game but uh, like I said I don't I don't think we did enough to win it yeah perhaps obviously didn't deserve, deserve an, enough to win it but we've got to talk about that goal obviously it's it's disappointing the way it's happened Will Wright goes down with a head injury the plays allowed to continue and I just want to get your thoughts on it I just I, I don't even know where to begin with it it's an head injury the rules are you stop play right and I've just asked the players, what did the referee say? He said he didn't see him. He ran over the top of him with his arms as if to say play on. You know, it's dangerous. I, I don't know where, at what point you, you, can, you can say play on when there's a player down with an head injury. It, you know, it, it's dangerous. And, and the FA need to look at that because whilst the player's not got injured or not got a bad injury, he could have, and, and you know, got the players' welf welfare at, at risk there, and you know, you you could see, and everybody on the pitch was telling him there's an head injury, there's an head injury, and he, he he actually ran over Will, he ran over him, and waved play on. I don't understand. Um, I thought the I'll, I've got to be careful because I'm really angry at the referee's performance today. It it was nothing short of being a disgrace, really. You know. Um, we made four, there was four substitutes made at the same time, um, which obviously takes a, a bit of time to make. And then by the time every, all four have come on the pitch, the goalkeeper for them, who's very clever, takes so long to take the goal kick. Why is he not ready while we're making these subs? Then? And you know, in terms of the time wasting, he never said one word to any of the players. Not one, not once did he address it. Not once. Um, and um, it, it actually takes the enjoyment out of it for me. You know, as a, as a football manager, you come here, you prepare the team all week, you work extremely hard. It's a long journey. We stay stay over. We get our preparation spot on. Our game plan was spot on for him to perform like that. I, I just think it's unfair. Yeah, and it's a shame because we take that one action away, nil nil. You come all this way. It's a 654 mile round trip. It's probably a decent result. And it, you know, it changes a lot, doesn't it? And you, you sort of have to sit there and stew on the journey home, and you know, wonder, wonder where, you know, what can be improved. I don't even know what he's going to say. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go in and speak to him, but I don't even know where he can go with it. it it's just like every, like speaking to everybody, you know, all the, the directors, the people who were here today. I just, you know, it's just madness what 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 went, what went on, and the fact that he played on, just madness. Yeah, and it's obviously going to be difficult to do, but I suppose we've just got to sort of push that to one side now and just, you know, focus on building, getting that momentum back that we had from what was a good victory against Accrington. Listen, I'm not, I'm not standing here saying that the referee was at fault for why we lost this game. We didn't do enough to win this game, but his performance was poor, right? Now we've got to do more to win a game of football. That, you know, I'm not, I don't want anyone to get mixed messages. Here. I want to be really, really clear here. We didn't do enough to win this game. I don't believe we did did enough to win the game but I also don't believe we deserve to lose it um, and I just it was just madness yeah I think we summed up quite well just finally a word for the 65 brilliant fans that travelled you know long journey and again it's just a shame that they almost feel let down I suppose uh, this is why the referees have, have got a kind of like it's got it's, it, something's got to happen where they sort this out they can't be making mistakes that bad it's not fair on people you know the, like you say 65 people have travelled all the way um from the south of England all the way up here. We're not far off Scotland here, right? It's a long, long journey for, for, for that. It's not fair. It really ain't fair.
Thank you, Scott. Thank you. Lawrence, thank you for joining us. It's obviously a tough result to take here at Barrow, but can I get your reflection on the game first? Yeah, really um, disappointed with the, with the result. Um, overall, felt like we probably should have come away with a little bit more. Um, definitely a point I feel like would have been probably a fair result. Um, we huffed and puffed. Um, tough conditions, obviously the pitch, uh, the the weather, the weather as well throughout. Um, but we just we just couldn't put the ball in the back of the net in the end, and um, it's a disappointing result. The gaffer summed it up, I thought, quite well. Of perhaps maybe our side didn't do enough to win the game, but the draw certainly would have been a fairer result than the loss. Obviously, we try not to talk about it too much with the action and the build-up to their goal, but it's just it's disappointing, isn't it, when you put all that effort in in the build-up to, to you know to the week? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, um, the goal is very disappointing from the officiating side of it. Um, Obviously, Will's gone down about 30 seconds before the ball's gone into the back of the net with a head injury and the referee decided not to stop play. Um, obviously, that's happened. It's a mistake from the referee and the officials, but we had to we had to defend the action and we didn't at the time and um, went 1-0 down, but it was only early doors and we still had the belief that we could have gone and, gone and scored after that after that happened. And um, Yeah, we're really disappointed that we didn't get anything from the game, but obviously we've got to bounce back now next week at home against Harrogate. Yeah, and I suppose that's the perfect way to sum it up, really, isn't it? There's still plenty of games to play, you know, almost just sort of... I'm sure with the gaffer we'll want to break it down and look at areas where perhaps we could have improved, but, you know, equally, we've got a great chance to bounce back next week, haven't we? Yeah, we'll um, we'll recover and then we'll have um, a de debrief meeting on the game today and then we'll put that one behind us and, and look forward to Harrogate. Um, obviously, the gaffer's going to look, look into it, um, watch the game back and, and pick out things where we feel like we can improve on. Um, and as a team, that's what we need to do. Uh, going into the Arrogate game, we'll put that right and then we'll, we'll go into a home game and hopefully get the three points that we'll need next week. Yeah, and I suppose it's now the classic football cliche of the build up to Christmas. It's always naturally the busiest period. You know, the pitches, as we've seen today, are starting to get a little bit worse. And, you know, we've got to stay on top of our game. But is that as a player just something you thrive off, just knowing that we've got plenty of games now to, to look forward to? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, that's the best thing about being a footballer. Um, you, it's never too long until your next game. Um, obviously, we've got a week now until uh, ne until the next game. Uh, we'll recover and then we'll do the debrief meeting and, uh, and, and look forward to Harrogate at home and then followed by Notts County away. So we've got two games next next week and uh, we're look, really looking forward to it. Yeah, and I suppose from a personal point of view, how have you been finding your time at Crawley so far? We spoke to you a couple of times since you've joined, but obviously initially on loan to January, potentially that could be extended. How have you been finding it so far? Yeah, I've loved it, obviously. Uh, the main aim for me for coming here was to play games. And um, yeah, I've really loved it. I've um, settled in really, really well. The gaff has been brilliant. The staff and the players have been very welcoming. So yeah, I'm really enjoying it. And, and we'll look, look into that into, over the next few weeks. Thank you, Lawrence.